Okay, uh, let's take a look at solving these two column proofs. All right, so we'll start off by formatting. Obviously, we have our statements and reasons. Two columns. This is important. Please make sure you are formatting correctly uh, with corresponding numbers. Okay, we'll start off with our given information. Obviously, segment AC is congruent to segment BD. That is given. Okay, what does that mean? That means the length of segment AC is congruent to the length of segment BD uh, by definition of congruence. Okay, now I know that AC, that's really the length of segment AB plus the length of segment BC. And that's, of course, the segment addition postulate. And if I'm going to say it for AC, might as well say it for BD as well. BD is really BC plus CD. Uh, also, segment addition postulate. And now I'm going to rewrite statement number two, substituting this statement number three in for the left-hand side, statement number four in for the right-hand side. So we have AB plus BC equals BC plus CD. Substitution. And we can subtract BC from both sides of the equation using subtraction property of quality. And then finally, we want to say that this segment is congruent to that segment and from statement number six, that's just definition of congruence. Yeah. All right. So you can pause the video, watch it back slowly, make sure you understand everything. I'm going to blast through this stuff. We're on two minutes. All right. So statements, reasons, two columns, corresponding numbers. All of this is important. Angle BAC is congruent to angle DAE, given angle. Okay, what does that mean? That means the measure of angle BAC is equal to the measure of angle DAE. It's a definition of congruence. Okay. Uh, the angle that's between both those two little angles, the uh, measure of angle CAD, it is congruent to itself. And that is reflexive. Okay. So now I can take statement number two and add the same thing to both sides of that equation using addition property of equality. Measure of angle BAC plus measure of angle CAD equals the measure of angle CAD plus the measure of angle DAE. So it's just the addition property of quality. Okay, but what are these things? Well, the measure of angle BAC plus the measure of angle CAD. Uh, that's really just equal to the measure of angle BAD. And that is, of course, the uh, angle addition postulate. Okay, uh, I said that about angle BAD, so I might as well say the same thing about uh, angle CAE. That's really made up of two little angles added together. So uh, the measure of angle CAD plus the measure of angle DAE, those guys add together to be the measure of angle CAE. It's also, whoops, 
this also angle addition. I'll still it. And here's where it gets fun. We're going to take statement number four and substitute measure of angle BAD in for the left-hand side and substitute measure of angle CAE in for the right-hand side. So we get uh, measure of angle BAD equals the measure of angle CAE. That is a substitution. But of course, we don't have the equation that we're trying to prove. We're trying to prove some congruence, but that's not a big deal. From this point, we'll just drop in the old definition of congruence. Measure of angle BAD turns into angle BAD, congruent to angle CAE. There's subtle little differences here with the notation uh, between equations and congruence. Please be aware of the difference between congruence and equality. The only thing you have to cite is definition of congruence whenever converting from equation to congruence statement or congruence statement to equation. All right. Mm. All right, some of the other answers will just be uh, posted to its learning as a uh, PDF. Uh, let me bust out one more. It's the most interesting one. Uh, this one is similar to the one I just did. Let me do. Uh, let me do number three real quick. Um, three is similar to six. Five is very similar to number one. And four is very similar to two. Um, so just by doing half of these, you can kind of probably uh, take a look at my answers that I'm going to post to It's Learning for the others uh, and work your way through it. So we're going to start with a formatting statements, reasons, two columns, corresponding numbers, etc. All right, so we'll start off with uh, angle one and angle two are a linear pair. And uh, also angle two and angle three are linear pairs as well. And both of those are given. Okay, what does that mean? What does it mean to be a linear pair? Well, that means the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 add together to be 180 degrees. Okay, same thing with the other two angles there. Uh, the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180 degrees. definition of a linear pair. Okay, Both of these things equal 180, through, so through transitive we can set measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equal to measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3. Okay, then we have the angles that we're trying to get equal to each other or congruent to each other more specifically. We have them in the same equation, so that's good. Now we can subtract measure of angle 2 from both sides of this equation. Subtraction. Property of equality. And then uh, we're almost done now. If the two measures are equal, that means the angles are congruent by definition of congruence. So, uh, oh good, just about 10 minutes. All right, so uh, I'll post the uh, solutions on its learning, but you had my little uh, explanation there too uh, that will be posted to YouTube so you can watch it again and pause it and whatever. All right. Uh, hopefully feeling better, and we'll see you guys on Wednesday.